Hi guys, it's Rach, and this is a quick word on considering the source. This one took me a long time to learn because I grew up in an environment, hashtag evangelical church, where there were really specific power structures at play and you were taught that the people at the top of that power structure were the ones that you listened to at all costs. You didn't question anything. You did what you were told. And you were striving to be good in the eyes of people who were higher up than you. And because I was born into that environment, I was raised to believe that anybody in a position of authority in my life, which, by the way, usually took the form of an older man, anybody in a position of authority must be right. And I needed to do what they were doing and I needed to act the way they wanted me to act. And I went through most of my adult life believing that that was true. So I never questioned authority. I honestly never questioned anything. I just did what I was told and I tried my very best to be a good girl. It took me a really long time to understand that I never want the opinion or the influence of someone who is not successful in the area they are trying to influence me in. If you are not a phenomenal marathon runner, I don't want your advice on how to run a marathon well. If you are not someone I admire as a really incredible intentional parent, I don't wanna hear anything about how I'm supposed to parent my child. If you are not someone who has a life or a business or a way of being that I admire and aspire to, then I don't want to listen to your influence on how to go through my own very real life. I want to talk about this because now that we have social media and anyone can tell us anything, it's super easy to get a bunch of information that doesn't have any factual backing to what you're being told. Also, it doesn't just happen in social media. I experienced this last year where I really wanted to go to a certain kind of retreat and I had been thinking about it for a while and I had these options, I was doing research, I was figuring it out on my own and then I happened to run into an old friend who had just gone on that kind of health retreat and she was like, oh my gosh, this is the place, this is the way, you're gonna love it, it's amazing. And the thing was, my spidey senses, that intuition, that still small voice inside of me, I remember feeling like, huh, This is so weird. Like it's totally different than all of my research has pointed me to. It's totally different than everything else I've seen. But she was so adamant that I would definitely love it. And you know me, I still fall into the trap of listening to a voice of authority. I was like, well, she must know what she's talking about. So I end up booking the retreat through the contact that she had. It was one of the worst experiences. Like so bad. I I don't I haven't told the story publicly because I don't ever want to shame another business, but when you're dealing with something that's health related or spiritually related or anything like that, it's a pretty vulnerable space. So if you go into the wrong environment, it has pretty pretty impactful resonance in your life. It ended up being a really bad experience. It ended up being a huge waste of money. And later when I was trying to understand like, God, why did this happen? How did I end up here? Because I unpack everything and try and find meaning in it. I was like, oh, that person who recommended this thing to me, she's not someone that I think of as a source for spiritual enlightenment or health. It wasn't someone that I ever would go, oh, she's the one who will have the answer. But because she was so confident in her delivery, I just went right along with it. And it was a really good reminder to consider the source. You know people in all walks of life. You know people that have different experiences and skills, different life paths that they've walked down. And chances are, whatever you're trying to figure out how to do, 
you can find someone that you know or a friend of a friend or worst case scenario, you go find someone on social media and you make sure that they have something to back up the advice that they're giving you and you get your wisdom from them. But stop making choices that are not the right choices for you simply because they were the right choice for somebody else. So it's a good rule of thumb. Consider the source when you're trying to figure out what you should do. But it's also freaking incredible litmus test for whether or not you should listen to someone else's advice. Most of the time, the people who are giving us unsolicited advice are not experts in the field. Very rarely, in fact. But we are living our life in such a way or we are making choices for ourselves, our children, our family, our relationship, our business, because someone who has no experience in the thing you're trying to do is trying to give you an opinion on the thing you're trying to do. The amount of women in my family who were in their time, in their year, in their parenting career, they were stay-at-home moms. Who then, when I had children, tried to tell me how I should parent as a working mother. Or worse, in some cases, tried to guilt trip me and make me feel bad because I worked outside the home while I had kids. But I was still so much in that idealistic like, oh, well, they must know because they're older than me or they're family members or I'm supposed to respect their opinions that I let it destroy me. Also, not for nothing, but if I had just stepped back and looked at the relationship that that person had with their own children who were now grown, or frankly, looked at the children they had raised, I would have been like, oh, this is not something I'm aiming at. This is not the life I want to have. This is not the kind of parent I want to be. That didn't occur to me. I just thought they are older, we are related, so they must be right. It took me a very long time to unlearn this, and it takes me even longer to not accidentally slip back into it. So I just thought I'd share it today in case any of you need that little line in your head, just like there's a little angel pops up on your shoulder, and it's like, consider the source. Consider the source. This one, this source right here, is always going to be a better guide for you than anything externally. But certainly, 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 if you are taking external advice, external opinions, you want to make sure that the person giving them to you has success, proven success, in the area they are trying to guide you in. 